I was going to wait a little while to talk about this because I have a sneaking suspicion this won't be the last desperate marketing attempt we'll see from this film, but I just can't resist the urge anymore. It's like trying to hold in a sneeze, just trying to fight my desire to make fun of what I just saw a couple days ago. To set the stage, Pixar has released a new film and it's become the second worst opening in all of Pixar history. It's looking to be a bit of a flop here. And there's a very good chance that you haven't even heard of the new Pixar film. It's called Elemental. It really flew under the radar. The marketing budget had to be like five popsicle sticks and like word of mouth. I don't really know what they were thinking here or expecting because most people didn't even know this was on the horizon here. There was about as much hype for Elemental as there is going to the DMV. Most people didn't even know it was coming and the ones that did just didn't really care to go see it. So it's not performing super well. And it appears that the higher-ups at Disney are starting to panic. So they're dusting off the oldest tricks in the marketing book here to try and convince people that the film is popular and worth going to a theater to see. Because a lot of people would probably choose to go to a fucking dentist's office as opposed to going to a theater to see Elemental right now. So they're trying everything. And that's when they came up with this absolute shining stinker of a viral marketing campaign idea. Save it for the wedding. Hey. <laughs> yo, yo, yo! Yeah! Before finishing the clip, I just have to call this out immediately. This is a legitimate post from the official Pixar Elemental Twitter post saying, Hashtag Claude's got the whole theater rooting for him. Check him out in Elemental. And this is like supposed to be one of those POV things in a theater where sometimes you'll see a viral video during a big moment in a movie where someone gets their phone out to film the audience reaction. Like, you know, here's how the audience responded to Tony Stark coming back from the dead and the crowd's going crazy like, Whoa! Yeah, Tony's back! Wee! And it's supposed to like capture that moment. That's what they tried here with this film. This is supposed to be like authentic. Like, look at how hyped the crowd got to see Claude from Elemental. Which makes no fucking sense because this film is brand new. It doesn't tie into anything. No one would know who the fuck Claude is going into this film. And yet for some reason we're supposed to believe that the entire audience just blew up. Like this sounds like they just watched their home team win the Super Bowl. All just because they got to bear witness to Claude popping out of some pot. It just doesn't make any sense. But I love how they try to pass it off like, Man, look at how everyone loves Claude. They can't get enough of Claude. Look at him go crazy. And then it's just like stock cheering sound effects you can find on like any royalty free database for stock sounds ever. It's beautiful. Like this reminds me of that Morbius clip where someone made a fake Morbius voiceover from the theater where they were filming the screen and then he says, it's Morbin time. And the crowd goes like, yeah, yeah. And since barely anyone had seen that film since it was such a box office disaster, a lot of people actually believed that that line was in the movie. Even to this day, they still think that that clip that went viral is real. And he actually says, it's Morbin time. I mean, sorry to ruin Christmas for you, that's actually not there. That was just made as a joke. Where it was supposed to be like, look at how great Morbius is. More billion fans all over the place. The biggest franchise of all time. And, and that was just supposed to be like a joke, like cheering thing for that line. That's not real. But Disney's taking that energy and trying to use it as an actual marketing arm for this film because it's floundering so hard in the box office. So let me just play the rest of it real quick before we go back to talking about it. Anyway, June Bloom is coming and you just got to be my date. Cause check it out. <laughs> oh, all grown up. <laughs> and I smell good. <laughs> What in tarnation? That's such an abrupt chaos ending there. That reminds me of like a, like a scene out of a disaster movie. Like a Roland Emmerich film in like 2012 when an entire city blows up and everyone's screaming all at once before they all die. That is just like, like almost haunting. But anyway, yeah. The crowd's apparently going fucking nuts for Claude here. And I love that they even have like the stock baby giggle sound effect. Like, ah <laughs> It's, they, they pulled out all of the stops. This couldn't have taken more than 15 seconds to make, and it actually might have just been made by one of the higher-ups' child during, like, study hall at middle school. It, 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 they're actually using it. They're legitimately trying to pass this off as a real thing and marketing for the film. I fucking love the caption, the theater when Claude finally shows up in Elemental. Nobody knows who Claude is. Why would they be sitting there waiting on bated breath, counting down the seconds for the moment that Claude finally graces them with his presence? Like, this is a complete new property, a new character they've never seen before. Why would they blow a gasket in excitement for it? 
This isn't like a moment in a beloved franchise or like a, a cameo fan service moment, you know, like across the Spider-Verse where people will point at the screen and be like, oh, holy shit, that's uh, Spider-Man Turbo X5 from that 2008 obscure fanfic Tumblr moment. They listen to us. Ah! Like, no one's doing that for Claude. It's not happening. I also can't help but just love that they even go a step further. Instead of just, like, pretending that people gave a fuck about Claude, they then go even further where they start making, like, sound effects as, like, the spectators during the film. The most annoying audience reactions ever. Such as, like, ooh, when he's, like, flirting with the, the main character here, I guess. Like, w nobody does that. Like, that's so rare. <laughs> what the fuck? Just a complete brazen disregard for the audience intelligence to try and convince people that this is real is... It's, it's admirable. I can't help but be impressed that they, they're actually trying this on TikTok. But I can't even blame them for trying. I, I don't even hold them at fault for this because a lot of users on TikTok suffer from legitimate brain rot. That's going to be a studied phenomenon in 10 years. Mark my words. Put it on your calendar. 10 years we're going to be studying the effect that TikTok has had on the brain and the development of children and people across the world. One of the biggest goddamn trends on TikTok for a while, a couple years ago, was this. Where it was like pretending that your hand just went through your other hand and it blew so many people's minds. That that one thing I just did right there has like 10 billion views across all the people that did it on there. So I do believe that this probably wasn't the worst idea for Disney Pixar to try and convince them that like, oh man, people must really love Claude. I kind of want to get in on that, that hype. I don't want to feel left out. And look at how the audience responded to him. Claude must be fucking amazing. This is the second coming of Christ. I... I, I might need to get to a theater now to see this. Mom, Dad, let's go. We got to go to the theater right now. Claude needs us. We got to see Elemental. Quick, what's the next showing? <laughs> like, I got to get in on the hype. It might work. And maybe it has because yesterday there was an article that came out saying that Elemental is actually making a bit of a resurgence in the box office. So it's still a massive net loss right now. It's got about 166 million total box office off of a $200, $200 million production budget which you usually double for marketing, but in this case, probably not. They didn't really market it much. So even still, it is in the red, but it's starting to bounce back a little bit. Thanks largely to Claude, I imagine. Claude's doing a lot of heavy lifting for this film, I guess. That just goes to show you the power of Claude. When you bet on Claude, you're guaranteed a win, it seems. Now, I know Mickey Mouse is going to public domain pretty soon. They're going to have to retire Mickey Mouse pretty soon for Disney. Maybe they'll just pick Claude as the next, like, actual Disney mascot, like, the face of Disney, might be Claude within the next couple of years. So, I I'm seeing a lot of potential with the character. We can clearly see how much people love Claude. Like, goddamn. You know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I, I fully admit there's a chance that I'm very wrong, and this is all a very real audience reaction to seeing Claude. Maybe that's just how we as human beings are programmed to respond to something as perfect as Claude, right? I haven't seen the film yet, but I gotta be honest, that marketing tactic's almost working on me. I kind of want to get over there real quick to see, you know, how great Claude is. He's not even the main character of the film, and I guess he really steals the show. But yeah, anyway, I just I just had to talk about this a little bit. I'm curious to see if they're going to do any other Hail Mary marketing plays for this film if it continues to not do well in the box office. So yeah, excited for that if it happens. That's about it. See ya.